What a castle, bye logo, what's up my single chats? There are singers out here that are currently chasing the ball from guys. Don't chase the ball from okay. We must stay focused, brothers. But this Nadia drama has overtaken the internet by storm. Everybody's talking about it. DMs are getting leaked left and right. And Modern Warzone talks about it. And guess what? In the replies, she has leaked Shanice DMs. And those of you that don't know Shanice, wait for it. Sit down, kiss your loved ones goodbye. Shanice works for Activision. Oh, shit. She oh, has shit. leaked her DMs. Guys, you don't even have to like and subscribe. We're gonna get into the story right now. In Urdu, Call of Duty. Let's get into it. Hello, Nadia now back in the news in the Call of Duty and Warzone space as she has now said and supposed that apparently Call of Duty has blacklisted her from all Call of Duty events Damn. because of her posting bikini pictures. Probably an ongoing God damn she be poor. Yeah, that's a that's an insane claim right there because don't activation support strong independent Diversity don't need no man discussion if she's gonna show more proof of this allegation Obviously a pretty severe thing and something she has brought up in her past But now given a bit more elaboration as to exactly what she means taking to Twitter yeah. at first to say completely blacklisted from playing Call of Duty tournaments all for posting bikini pictures Yeah. I Never posted one in my life, but again, the guys on the Call of Duty can post their on social media. Bro, like, listen, man, the delusion this chick has is absolutely insane. A guy posting bunda pics, I know she's talking about swag, swag likes to tick tick and whatnot, and he ended up getting a shot on his bunda and got a tattoo, right? And he posted, like, just the side angle. Bro, a dude posting that a pic like that is not the same versus what you post, what a female posts. You have been posting your entire on social media versus dude. I, ain't nobody's watching swag for his burnout pics, bro. Like, come on, dog. Like, ain't nobody's watching him for the burnout pics, bro. Like, come on, bro. I've never posted nudity once in my life, but again, the guys in the COD community can post their bare arse on social media. GG's. And at least to me, when I first saw this, that's a complete reference back to what she previously months ago had called out other COD creators for. That was the, she said she was not. A yeah. <laughs> This, this is what I'm talking about. You see, like, all of that crap here? You see, like, this is a Raven tattoo on... <laughs> this is swag. Raven tattoo on swag. And half of this... You cannot even see much here. Like, what are we talking Bruh. about, dog? Like, the delusion is off the charts. Maybe you gotta click and you will see more. But even then, you don't get to see much. And a dude posting stuff like that is not the same versus what a female post if you if you're a female and you post your bona pics bro you're gonna be attracting all the kids and you're gonna attract all the perverts your way that are constantly chasing the, the pom pom that just want one and one thing only from you okay let's just be real let's not even sugarcoat anything oh, guys oh, let's just like why do people watch those mommy milker streams not for the personality not to learn something not to learn and grow today i'm gonna increase my iq points no 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 it's not about that it's just for those mommy milkers like uh, as sad as it might sound they're not coming for you they're coming for your body you posting your bona pics is not the same versus what swag is posting i mean swag like come on bro like stop getting the thick thicks as well but like damn bro like I'm invited to cod next because of her bikini uh, thank you for subscribing by the way pictures or pictures and content she had been posting and then reference people like swag and tifu and others like aiden uh doing similar things in her eyes to the content that she posted. I think she later deleted that tweet, and for me, when I covered that situation on this channel, I thought it was a pretty crazy reference to make, the, the content that she has been making. Thank you, thank you. Yo, this might be a rare W from Officer Lucky, bro, because uh, maybe he has stopped drinking Bud Light. Maybe that's, that's what it is. Because last time I checked, he was drinking Bud Light, and he was saying, but it's, uh, it's totally okay. Females are not doing any harm right now. You know, it's okay to show your mommy milkers on stream. That was kind of like his take. Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but you get the, the, the point. But right now, it looks like that he has cut down on, on Bud Light. That's good. W, man. Keep it up, brother. We love that. We love to hear that. We're going to even smash the like button on the video right now, bro on third-party sites of course the pictures you guys know what I'm talking about albeit it's not nude content I wouldn't classify it as you know as as straight-up adult content but it's certainly I would say going that way when you post these risque pictures and images yeah. like everyone knows Ooh. what you're trying to sell as yep. opposed to a warzone or call of duty streamer or at least the ones you reference being tifu swag Aiden um, and others 
they're not doing that those kind of content pieces like they're not oh my oh, god shit. oh my god hallelujah bro this might be the best jake lucky video i have ever seen in my life guys oh my god he's waking up right now bro i never thought i would see the day where jake lucky will have a wt two w's in one video doing those pictures just to sell it somewhere else at least that's what i concluded when i saw that allegation she was trying to somehow compare her content to theirs which i didn't think was fair and one of those main examples she kept on going back to was the time that phase swag got a oh raven software tag tattoo on his arse and they ultimately made it their profile picture. I will agree with Nadia on the point that if she had gotten a Raven Software tattoo on her arse, I don't think Raven Software would have put that as their profile picture. That at least I can agree with her with. I don't think we would have seen it. But you cannot sit here and compare the fact that Tifu and Aiden back in the Fortnite day for a meme did the bathroom <laughs> selfies and Aiden is always doing Aiden pictures, but they're not selling that content elsewhere, especially that more like lewd, suggestive content. I don't know how you would classify it as, guys. Let's just keep it above 50. Like, she has been horsing around. And if you're horsing around, dog, simple as that. You are horsing around. There's no other way, bro. There's no other way to describe it, dog. Like, you are literally selling to the kids, to the viewers that are watching. Obviously, you're gonna attract the suckers. The type of suckers you're gonna attract are the ones that are gonna be chasing the pom pom. They're gonna be like, <laughs> your pictures versus what Swag posted. It's a night and day difference. Nobody is watching Swag for his butt pics. I've had some DMs back and forth, Nadia, despite what she has said to me. I've never subscribed to her content. I never will, and I won't be paying the cap. For, for that content. I'm perfectly happy, happy in my relationship. Just a little weird exchange of DMs that we have had. I don't have any ill will towards her, but I also don't know the full extent of her content on the third party sites. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. All I've seen is uh -huh. what I've seen on Twitter, which is pretty suggestive. I, I just don't think they're bikini pictures. They're not just bikini pictures. And I hate that we have to talk about this, but we have to give proper context. Uh, so, Ron, wrong. you love talking about it. Let's be real. Because. There is, Don't guys, I'm not sure what's sad, bro. Talking about this situation or the fact that there's nothing to talk about Call of Duty. And this is the only thing that, that, that that's relevant to talk about in Call of Duty, dog. So that's been done. As Modern Warzone responded saying, so have you directly been told the reason why? Is there a rumor from a reliable source that you've heard? Or are you assuming this because you can't think of anything else? Oh, you damn. did just compete in the optic. Guys, DM's coming up. Oh, shit. Oh, DM's shit. coming up. This is going to get crazy, bro. 100K solo YOLO day uh, a few weeks ago go on Uzbekistan. No, so what's changed? Nadia goes, I can't think of anything else I have done. You have seen me every day on the game. I barely do any IRL anymore, and when I do, it's in my home, not in a hot tub or any type of sexual content. When I reached out, I heard nothing back, and I reached out to multiple reps. Doug then responds, the part that's confusing me is you got to compete in the 100k, which is an incredible opportunity to earn 20k a game. I don't see why they let yeah. you play in that, but then change your status to blacklisted so yep. fast. Yep. Have you tried to be someone's teammate who was a captain and then Activision informed what captain they couldn't play with you. I believe that's what happened to FaZe Kaylee. This is a long time ago. Or the maybe they were simply like, okay, we're gonna invite you later. We're gonna invite you next time. Today we're we're not in the mood to invite out a nine kitty player because you're gonna literally annihilate everybody, bro. bro. You know what I'm saying? Or girl or bro, you know what I'm saying? But maybe they were- We don't have other people in the same skill bracket, skill level as you. Just gotta think about it, right? Just gotta think about it. You are a 9k player. You're the world's best Warzone player that's out there. That's surely not cheating, right? Let's Bruh. be real. So maybe they didn't have like any opponents as <laughs> as high skill as you. Or like, we're gonna invite you next time. And you took it as, oh, you guys are blacklisting me. You guys, how could you do that? And therefore, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna be strong, independent. And I'm gonna leak Shanice DMs. <laughs> Dog, this is absolutely pathetic though, because let's be real, right? Because they might have not blacklisted you they might have been busy and they probably were like okay we're gonna invite you next time but the fact that you're going around you're horsing around and also you're you're like leaking dms and uh publicly talking about it that's that's probably gonna make them not want to trust you because even for me like i was invited out for modern warfare 19 but then guess what i was never invited out again and that's on me i'm not even gonna blame them because the only reason i wasn't invited out ever again was because i criticized skill-based matchmaking Bruh. i started making videos and it was i was at a point where i could have either shut up and 
constantly be flown out or chose to talk about skill based matchmaking and you know ask for the game to get better i i went that route i was like brad like this is bad this is bad and the dev unfollowed me <laughs> the dev got mad he unfollowed me i was like okay whatever bro who cares about it and i'm not gonna like reveal the name i mean that's his right if he's gonna unfollow whatever right not gonna invite me out it's their right i don't even care for that no more dog why are you getting so butthurt over the, the fact that you haven't been invited out in just few weeks bro like crazy man these females are delusional as hell past but she's now back competing nadia then says it's sadie hawkins meaning the girls apparently uh actually are invited first then they invite their duos oddly enough back in september they promised me a spot in their tournament i have been ignored by efuse every dm i send also shanice i believe that's a cod rep is no uh, help yeah it's shanice <laughs> Shanice is an actress and rep, okay, and she really do believes that men don't deserve internet. Oh, shit. Oh. Yay! She actually said that. Call Shane League that a while ago. We talked about it on the video. Didn't you know? We made a video on it a while ago, guys. When I ask about what happened, they are all leaving me in the dust. My response Damn. to that particular point is if you look at Efuse, who is putting on the Arena event that Nadia also called out for not getting an invite to a couple days back, guys, Efuse is the same company behind Creator League. The league that shut down shortly after they found out it was tied to NFTs, Web3, that kind oh, of shit. stuff that was called out. Mr. Beast was involved. A lot of your big favorite creators were involved, including Optic and many other top names. Then they short- Oh my God, what? I wasn't aware of that. Say you swear to God, bro. This is another. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. my God, bro. What is happening though? Shortly after found out that, oh, this is not the creator league we promised that we were, you know, being a part of that we were actually promised and told about. And so the entire thing shut down, followed by multiple, multiple layoffs through Efuse. So to say that you got a DM back in September, hey, that company has been through a lot since September. We're now in January. I don't know what, what happened in your DMs, but there's a lot of potential options as to why you didn't get an invite to this specific tournament. Exactly. And the only point I- Bro, like, I swear to God, man, like these seconds are delusional, or not the seconds, but this e-girl, is delusional as hell dog you haven't been invited on in a few weeks like who cares though you're probably gonna i know you care and that's fine it's okay if you care right but the the, the fact that you're out there blasting leaking dms and making the fuss and obviously like we are all also to blame equally as well Bruh. let's be real because Sigas don't want to talk about the game no more. Sigas are Sigas only want to talk about this situation. Everybody like look at that 8.6 thousand likes. God damn. You know everybody's talking about it. Sigas are posting about it. Like the the, the 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 it's going viral. And at one point it was trending. Obviously like some other stuff is trending right now, which I cannot talk about on YouTube. You know what I mean? But yesterday this was all night. It was trending. And this is the only thing Sigas are talking about. I mean this is a sad reality that. People don't even care about the games no more. People just care about the drama. Guys, let's be real. This is exactly why you are here as well. You care for the drama. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the point here is that the, the thing that's wrong here is this, right? You are leaking DMs. You're not being patient and patient enough. There are a lot of other people that are uh, YouTubers, not myself. I'm not, I'm not including myself. I cut my ties with Activision a while, a long time ago, like I said, right? And I don't care for it no more, okay? If I get invited out, cool. If I don't, I don't even care for that no more. But you are the one to be blamed. The, you don't even have the patience. And the only thing that's bad about this whole thing is this, that people don't even care about talking about Call of Duty. People just care about talking about Call of Duty drama. I mean, th this is a sad reality we're living in. The games just don't even hit the same, bro. I was trying to get across like no I don't really care that much I'm just simply trying to explain that time and time again when Nadia compares the content she does to other creators in the Call of Duty and Warzone space who are really just playing the game but she's complaining about their one-off posts and somehow comparing that yeah. content to her bikini content and, and she posted like tons of those haram pics let's be real I don't bro. think that's a fair one-to-one -one comparison it also comes across as a bit entitled when you've been playing Call of Duty yeah and Warzone for three months straight and then you come back and immediately feel entitled to be invited to yeah. whatever tournament you want despite damn man these females be delusional as hell and guys click on this video on the screen this was the last episode we had a ton of cheaters getting caught left and right as well on the left though that's a secret video if you have not seen it check out both of these videos and i will see you right there.